this computer finally. So I'm recording it on my computer and then later on we'll upload it to YouTube and I'll share the link with everybody here. And also just repeat that when we actually start the webinar. So the webinar um, is started and uh, I can see the attendees. Attendees, are they in the room? Yes. You have to let them in. Okay, fine, then we can begin. Uh, so promote then the Colleagues, I think we can start the webinar. It's yes, 403, please. and as we kept one hour, we should start on time at least. Uh, so good evening to everybody, and uh, thank you everyone for joining, taking out your precious time on a Friday evening. Uh, I'm Nitya Jacob, and I'm the coordinator of the India chapter for uh, the Sustainable Sanitation Alliance, Susanna, that has been in existence since 2016. Uh, over the last six years, we have had numerous discussions on sanitation, hygiene, and water uh, related to pressing issues in India. I think we've had more than 20 discussions and uh, about 20 webinars also uh, on different topics related to sanitation. Uh, the numerous organizations have supported uh, the Susanna India chapter. The India Sanitation Coalition has been its host since inception. Argyam, uh, Water for People, WaterAid, IRC, and India Sanitation Coalition, of course, have all, and UNICEF have supported the uh, chapter at different points of time. So it has got uh, broad-based support from the wash sector in the country. Uh, sorry for the background noise. Um, this webinar is uh, being run in conjunction with an online discussion that we're having on rural solid waste management, uh, which is being conducted on the Susanna Forum. Uh, and I'll share a link to that discussion after I'm done. The purpose is to understand from practitioners and experts who are present with me here, uh, what are the kind of notable uh, policy uh, frameworks and policy aspects of uh, rural solid waste management? And what are some of the successes and challenges of the same from different parts of the country? So <clears throat> my colleagues will be uh, speaking about examples from different parts of the country as well as giving an overview of the policy uh, and uh, programmatic aspects as envisaged in Swachh Bharat Mission 2, because such, uh, so solid waste management is a significant component of SBM 2. So without too much more of uh, introduction and background, I would like to hand over to Pramod, Pramod Dabrase, who has uh, several years of experience as an international expert on solid waste management, not just solid waste management, I think on the entire gamut of uh, water sanitation and hygiene. Uh, and I'd like to thank all my co-panelists again, uh, Asad, Arka, and Imtiaz, to join, who are, who've joined the webinar from different parts of the country. Thank you, everybody. And Pramod, over to you. Oh, you're muted. Right, there you go. Thank you very much, Nitya, for that uh, brief intro and uh, the background to this uh, webinar. Uh, my name is Pramod Dabrasi. I have been in the sector since almost two decades now and uh, seen, uh, I would say, length and breadth of the country doing or not doing success, successes, failures, and everything, I would say. We actually started way back in uh, 2012, I would say, when actual solid and liquid waste management as a as a as a core subject as an important subject was kind of uh, highlighted at policy level at national level wherein we along with the ministry started uh, kind of uh, understanding the sector at the national level uh, visiting number of states understanding what are the challenges issues practices what support people expect and things like that so, so, so broadly to say, uh, everyone was so much concerned about the one, one, one factor that was technology. But when we, when we kind of dive deep into the sector, when we understand, when we do a lot of consultation, we realize that technology is not really the challenge. You know, it is so simple. If you see, 
biogas for example composting for example vermicomposting for example biomethanation of various kinds for example so there are so many options already available and they are so easy for us to do nade for instance very well known traditionally we have been using that but somehow we are fascinated or attracted to some fancy ideas from some fancy designs from some fancy intervention happening in some corner of the country especially in urban areas which is not uh, very relevant to our context that is rural context we are talking about i think that is where the problem started we we try to replicate or adopt something which was not relevant to us and that is precisely where uh, we should really you know think more about what approaches we can have what kind of financial assistance we require what capacities we have uh, with the people who are engaged in the entire program so i, I think these are the critically important issues that uh, that we i think should deliberate today uh, along with the sustainability element to it you see that uh, the policy framework itself or the policy itself has matured uh, since 20 uh, i would say 2000 wherein we were talking of solid waste management uh, at national level but when we came to 2016 we 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 started talking uh, talking about it in a more comprehensive way rural areas were included all the cantonments entire in, in, in fact entire country was included in the coverage of that particular policy framework along with that you see that some interesting things are happening now uh, like uh, concepts like epr extended producers responsibility or giving more responsibility to the producers because when you talk of solid waste it is both dry and wet and we are, we added third category uh, what is called as uh, domestic hazardous waste which is of uh, the greatest concern for all of us i would say so all this in totality demands for uh, something innovative something that we have not tried my understanding my experience of two decades says that we are still not able to crack the basics and that basic is source aggregation if we are we, if we are able to hit at that particular point i think 80% of our challenge can be sorted out very easily because we are we start, we already started looking at the solid waste as a resource now we already understood that there is so much economic value there is so much resource value there is there is so much entrepreneurship opportunity there are so many livelihood opportunity there is there may be it can be you know turned out to be a big business actually if we uh, address it properly and that is precisely where i would uh, appeal my speakers asad the um, arkan imtiaz from uh, uh, bhopal they have done some very, very wonderful work in the field we would like to hear from you all uh, maybe at the end of uh, the sessions i would sum it up and uh, see how can what kind of learnings we can take from these three very very important uh, uh, speakers i would say so i would now like to uh, request uh, asad the from um, aga khan foundation to share his experiences about what he thinks about all this thank you very much thank you so much <clears throat> uh alitya and thanks a lot pramod good to be on this panel all the familiar faces so my name is asad kumar uh i am also like pramod working in the sector for more than uh two decades almost 23 years now um currently i am actually uh, uh, leading wash initiatives at aga khan foundation uh we are closely supporting to both swachh bharat mission uh phase 2 earlier it was phase 1 and now currently in few states where we have our interventions we are supporting to swachh bharat mission phase 2 as well as jal jeevan mission uh we are also prioritizing our interventions especially on waste management where we have identified uh, peri urban locations uh, especially in state like bihar and trying to actually uh, uh, as pramod has mentioned that is still we haven't been able to really crack the basics of waste management we are we are trying uh, to adopt certain approaches <clears throat> experimenting with different options uh in certain cases yes we could manage to um uh get success in certain cases still we are learning uh there are positive policy environment at the moment but challenges are immense uh especially when we talk uh, 
about certain solutions uh, at scale. Uh, Mitali, can I share kar sakta Can you just give me a sort of access uh, to share the screen? Will it be all right, Pramod, if I just, uh, I have put together sort of a small presentation? Perfectly fine, perfect. Please, okay. please go ahead. Okay. We have time limitation, so please uh, consider that. No, no, I'll, 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 I'll just try to uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, finish within within the given time duration. Sure, sure. Okay. Still, I haven't been able to actually get the uh, permission to share the screen. Okay. I have uh, allowed multiple yeah. participants yes. to share. You should be able to do that now. Yes. So as uh, uh, Pramod, you have rightly mentioned uh, that uh, this is this is an area where things are evolving. This is an area where uh, uh, actually people have already started realizing that. Uh, there are value uh, uh, to to waste, but and and in past we have already seen that uh, some good examples thanks to phase one of urban Swachh Bharat mission. So a lot of good examples are actually uh, emerging across country. Uh, it has its distinct uh, uh, flavor, but in terms of as as Pramod has rightly mentioned that uh, perhaps blindly we try to uh, actually replicate some of those models. Uh, in rural areas as well, uh, but somehow we couldn't uh, actually uh, uh, get success. But still, I think uh, uh, in last couple of years, what we have seen that things are evolving uh, and some best practices, good examples are emerging. As we all know, I mean, uh, the uh, waste uh, uh, is, is a major challenge for all of us. Uh, to be very honest, at the moment, uh, of course, in certain extent, panchayat have started doing something, but panchayats do not have the technical capacity uh, to actually uh, uh, scientifically or properly manage their waste. Uh, overall, uh, volume of waste, as we all know, per day, it is increasing. Uh, it it has gone up to almost point uh, of four million uh, ton per day, uh, but. Uh, do we have a sort of uh, uh, waste management model that is really financially uh, sustainable? This is something that we really need to think through. Uh, and waste is not easy to handle. There are different dimensions to it. Uh, the idea of waste to wealth, that sounds fascinating. But in reality, is it really something that is practical? We really uh, need to think through. Uh, all these, uh, but at the, at, at the end of the day, everything we expect panchayats to actually manage, but lack of capacity, manpower, absence of technical uh, know-how, uh, uh, expertise in financial management that do not allow actually gram panchayats uh, to efficiently manage their resources. Now, if you just uh, look at some of the uh, deeper issues, as, as Pramod has uh, rightly mentioned, that uh, to a certain extent, uh, it is not a sort of technology related issues. Now, the more we try to attempt to come up with a sort of good uh, uh, waste management model, what we see that inadequate uh, investment uh, in the building, uh, in building the capacities of Panchayati Raj institution or the representative is something that is becoming a sort of major uh, constraint. Waste management that requires a sort of dedicated human resources, but insufficient human resource allocation is also something that is somewhere hampering the overall progress. Uh, now, without a functioning waste management system in place, it doesn't augur well, blaming the households of being irresponsible. I mean, as far as waste, uh, effective waste management, especially in rural areas are concerned. I mean, putting here and there certain waste bins or uh, 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 procuring certain tricycles is really not going to solve the problem. So this is something that uh, uh, we should keep uh, in mind. Now, Couple of things uh, which uh, I would definitely like to highlight here. Despite of all these challenges, uh, we have opportunities in terms of Swachh Bharat Mission Phase Two. Waste management 
uh, uh, journey if you just look at Swachh Bharat Mission from aspiring to model villages. Of course, phase two is trying to actually adopt a sort of model where wastes are effectively managed. Uh, funds are being made available to Gram Panchayat for setting up of solid waste management units at GP level. Plastic waste management units at block level are something that is also being prioritized. So there is a sort of poly positive policy environment. As Pramod has rightly mentioned, technologies are available to manage waste in more scientific manner, and plenty of examples we have across country that we can see. Good models are also available. In fact, recently I was present in a, 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 a seminar uh, last month, perhaps, where representative from government of Andhra Pradesh, they presented their efforts towards solid waste management. I think they have done some credible, uh, 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 if, uh, incredible, uh, I mean, uh, efforts have gone into it and some good examples are actually emerging in Andhra Pradesh at scale. So that is one part. Uh, we all know about uh, indoor. Indoor is, uh, 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 especially in urban waste management, they have uh, set certain examples, certain standards. Uh, but there is a sort of ripple effect even in the panchayats. So we can see a lot of good examples around indoor city uh, in certain panchayats are emerging, or especially the way GPSHGs, our consultants are working in sync to come up with a sort of good model. Experiences of solid waste management, we can see good examples from uh, uh, Karnataka agencies like, I don't want to name, but yes, uh, 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 I would like to uh, say that entities like Sahas and all, they have actually demonstrated waste segregation at source uh, uh, and management of dry waste. Experiences of behavior change promotion in sustainable ways, uh, it Coimbatore, Nora Green, uh, waste to resource, uh, 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 perhaps Gobardhan was a sort of guiding principle for it. So these are, these are certain good examples that is emerging out of it. All that is required uh, uh, is the Gram Panchayat need to get prepared to carry out themselves or to get uh, into a service contract uh, agreement with third party so that uh, waste can effectively be managed. Uh, now, what is actually uh, important, what, what does it entail if, if you just uh, uh, solid waste management? Couple of things that is really important is waste survey in terms of overall composition, in terms of quantity, uh, uh, what is, uh, especially uh, if it is done in a proper and participatory way, we can actually, uh, what Pramod has mentioned, we can crack the uh, issue of segregation, et cetera. Then community participation is something that is really, really important. Uh, community level engagement, uh, uh, I mean, appreciation at household level, appreciation at community level that yes, collect, this is a sort of collective responsibility that need to be managed. So a lot of investment is actually uh, required around behavior change, communication approach, dedicated campaigns, et cetera. Now, third aspect, which is perhaps the easiest one, and this is exactly what uh, in last couple of years, uh, couple of years, personally, I have seen in terms of logistic management. If you just look at the planning part, many districts, many states, they would come up with certain plans where number of vehicles that is needed, uh, shed that is required, uh, all the logistics, they would easily uh, uh, develop a plan around it. So of course, logistics are important. That should be there. So a lot of uh, uh, investment is actually required and there, there are dedicated resources for it. Now, technical management. Yes, of course, we really need to understand uh, the, uh, the, the the whole uh, aspects around wet waste or dry waste, within dry waste, plastic waste management, how that can be managed. Now, Another critical aspect, panchayat's capacity around financial waste management. So this is something that is really, really important. So a scientific waste management system at grant panchayat level, uh, will that be financially uh, 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 sustainable or achievable? So that is something we need to actually reflect, we need to think through. How do we match or modify the institutional arrangement for waste collection and waste management? This is something that is really, really important. Uh, Waste collection and waste management. Segregation at household level is one part, but waste collection or waste management, uh, a dedicated uh, uh, institutional arrangement at panchayat level in a sustained way, that is something that is important. And that is where panchayat must prioritize if we really want to see a successful model. What kind of support facilitation uh, uh, need to come from uh, Swachh Bharat Mission Grameen uh, phase two or from private players or NGOs or support uh, development players to ensure that GPs either they manage waste in a scientific 
an acceptable way on their own or involve a third party. They should be capacitated enough so that they can actually engage a, a third party for uh, efficient management of waste resources. So this is actually, uh, this is uh, some of the things which I really wanted to highlight uh, uh, as part of this. I'll, I'll just take a few more minutes just to, huh. and another important thing, this is something, uh, I, I will just uh, narrate a very interesting story around it. In fact, we were having this discussion with one particular uh, 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 mission director of uh, 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 in a state, and up front he just asked this question: "Ki aapke gharon mein jo hum ye uh, kachra collect karte hain, plastic kitni aati?" And believe me, many of us were not able to really respond to this question. So, so this is something that is still evolving. Uh, now, here I have uh, actually uh, 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 deliberately actually put a, uh, a slide that I have taken from a study that was uh, in 2021 conducted by IIT Rurki, especially in uh, Namami Gange villages uh, in Haridwar. So this is study, if you just look at this study. Now, Pramod, you can also, uh, I'm, I'm sure you will also agree with me that just look at the composition here. It is completely different than what we have in urban areas. Almost organic waste, food waste, and twigs and leaves. So biodegradable waste that constitute for almost 80% of the total waste that is generated in uh, 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 rural areas. Now, another inert, it is almost 5%. So that means rest of the waste that constitutes paper, polythene, textiles, plastic, glass, metals, rubbers, it is hardly 15%. So this we need to understand if we are really going to uh, uh, work around solid waste management. The, uh, this is also important that average daily waste generation, how much waste is being generated uh, in a rural areas? What is household level waste per household level per capita waste that is being generated? So these are these are critical aspects that we need to actually understand and that and that is where actually uh, uh, panchayat's capacity, uh, uh, hand holding support to panchayat, this is something that is really really important and we should prioritize that. Uh, and of course. We all know logistics are something that is really important. Uh, centralized composting system is also something uh, 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 that is being practiced across many gram panchas, and this is something where we have some good and successful examples that is uh, already uh, uh, available. Now, uh, here I would also like to actually uh, share some of the uh, examples because we are working in Uttar Pradesh, and I see this as an opportunity. Now, Uttar Pradesh is a state where uh, they are uh, uh, trying to um, uh, prioritize solid waste management. Uh, they have categorized aspiring, rising, and model villages. As you know, uh, these are the categories oh, under ODF plus. Uh, so uh, 3,500 uh, panchayas or 4,700 villages have already been selected uh, under ODF plus. Um, and these are the villages where population is more than 5,000. So that itself uh, presents a sort of good opportunity, a comprehensive assessment tool uh, that has already been uh, developed uh, by uh, State Water and Sanitation Mission. Um, and there, uh, again, if you just look at, they have prioritized uh, certain logistics, certain infrastructures, uh, plastic waste management is going to be a sort of key priority. But then again, Within this uh, uh, oral approach, uh, uh, where I see as an uh, I see an opportunity is to closely work with these panchayats, especially to capacitate them uh, uh, to uh, in in better planning processes. If that is done, uh, I, I personally feel that somewhere we should be able to uh, uh, actually uh, uh, get certain success out of it. Now, AKF is uh, as part of AKF's intervention. Couple of things. Uh, I would like to present here. We are working in Uttar Pradesh in Bihar, uh, uh, solid uh, uh, and supporting uh, uh, to uh, efforts of uh, state government, uh, especially to uh, achieve uh, the uh, indicators of uh, SBM phase two, uh, especially around solid waste management. Uh, we have demonstrated some good models, supported district to demonstrate a sort of model. In fact, in couple of, uh, so we are working uh, in Tarai region of uh, Uttar Pradesh, uh, especially in Devi Parton division, that is the foothills of Himalaya on the Eastern side. Uh, uh, so there are a couple of models that has already been uh, demonstrated. So 
we not only um, hundred percent sanitation access, but hundred uh, percent uh, waste management, liquid waste management, solid waste and liquid waste management, as well as uh, we have also actually achieved a sort of hundred percent access of uh, uh, drinking water. So there are there are a couple of so this is not something that we could manage to achieve at a scale, but yes. Because uh, there are panchayats uh, which are quite supportive, and if if you happens to work with them, then you can actually achieve certain uh, good results out of it. We have also actually uh, in in Devi Patan division, uh, especially uh, SBCC campaign for solid waste management. We have supported them, trained dedicated workers who can actually extend necessary support to the panchayats. Uh, uh, we have also actually supported them to develop a sort of five-year uh, solid and liquid waste man uh, uh, management plan, infrastructure creation and uh, decentralized management of solid and liquid waste management has already been demonstrated in four villages. So that is one set of intervention that we are doing. So our effort is towards system strengthening to ensure a sort of sustained uh, 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 waste management uh, in, in the panchayat. As part of Lighthouse Initiative, as uh, uh, you all know, uh, uh, India Sanitation Coalition has already initiated uh, 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 in partnership with, with the ministry. They have initiated this. So we, we are also partnering uh, uh, with the state government with India Sanitation Coalition and six panchayat have already been identified where we'll be demonstrating these models. I'm not get, uh, getting into these details. Of course, a participatory planning was done, uh, waste management assessment was carried out. And then, of course, in a couple of panchayats, as I have already uh, uh, mentioned, that waste management practices uh, are being followed. Uh, so again, uh, this is something that I would like to skip here. Uh, this this reflects the overall plan that was developed. Now, another part where which I would definitely like to highlight here is uh, is basically the uh, waste management part where convergence approach uh, uh, is actually for. So as part of AKF's uh, uh, initiative. Uh, uh, towards uh, climate resilient approaches uh, under improved uh, uh, agricultural practices. We have promoted a uh, sort of uh, uh, biogas. Uh, 60 uh, have already been promoted. So all the, uh, in terms of capacity, in terms of input, gas generation, investment, uh, use of celery, uh, celery, et cetera, that has already been uh, actually outlined here in the slide. So this is something that we are promoting in a big way. So I personally feel that somewhere such Bharat mission Phase two and, for example, uh, Department of Agriculture, they need to talk to each other because huge potential is there. Uh, even Department of Agriculture, they have uh, coming with uh, rich experiences actually to uh, promote biogas, to promote composting, etc. So there is a need, and as you know, uh, uh, somewhere this is uh, something uh, that is already fading into the policy priorities of Gobardhan scheme, galvanize um, organic bio agro resources plan. So composting is also something that we have, uh, uh, especially the bed composting that we have promoted almost uh, in uh, 650 locations. Fermi composting is being prioritized and uh, cow pet pit is something uh, that is uh, also promoted at a scale. So, uh, so these are certain uh, examples that is already feeding into uh, uh, Swachh Bharat Mission phase two or even the overall waste management part. Now, last thing that I would like to uh, uh, share with you is uh, uh, our experiences from peri-urban areas of Patna city. In fact, we are working in three ULBs, so more or less it's, it's a mix of both rural and urban areas. Uh, here, uh, we have actually adopted a sort of decentralized waste management model. So within that model, so one on one hand, our effort was to actually uh, promote across 95 wards to promote a sort of household level segregation, but at the same time, to demonstrate uh, uh, good models of material recovery facility or secondary segregation centers. So this is something that model is already up and functioning. Certain revenues are being generated out of it. Uh, we have already procured uh, 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 some of the equipments like baler, compactor, et cetera, uh, for uh, shredder, uh, for uh, further processing uh, uh, of, of, uh, of the waste. Uh, so these are certain things and uh, already uh, on, uh, per day, uh, almost two ton of feeds uh, are being segregated at this uh, particular center in Danapur. And we, uh, we are also uh, actually uh, coming up with a sort of idea where we, can we uh, develop a sort of business model out of it? So we have already floated a sort of uh, uh, call for proposal 
uh, to invite applications from potential uh, service providers so so that uh, this center can sustain once we exit from the uh, project so this is something we are hoping that uh, already this is uh, reaching towards a self sustenance but still it will take some time but uh, once a business model is developed out of it we are quite hopeful that this will be a sort of one of the most financially uh, and technologically a viable and sustainable model. So these are certain things which we have promoted as an organization. Uh, this last point, which uh, uh, this is the last slide for me. So Gram Panchayat must be equipped to plan, organize. Again, I would just emphasize this fact that to plan, organize, and implement waste management as a regular practice and not as a project uh, uh, to place dustbins in the street corners without a system in place. So system strengthening is something that we must prioritize. Solid waste management must be preceded by and supported by behavior change, uh, uh, dedicated behavior change campaign. Uh, GP and block level self, uh, 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 panchayat self-help groups and service providers, they should work uh, in tandem. Actually, if we really want to achieve certain results, so Gram Panchayat, block level functionaries, or even third party, the, the expert agencies who have come who have certain expertise in waste management, they should come together and try to uh, uh, come up with certain uh, sustainable solution. Need for a sort of a state level policy um, uh, and implementation roadmap to strengthen PRIs, service level benchmark and key performance indicators around waste management. Plastic waste cannot be handled in decentralized way. So all villages should do this and uh, there should be a sort of, uh, of course, uh, under uh, guiding documents, uh, block level approach has already been uh, uh, promoted, but this is something that should also be practiced. Convergence uh, between departments critical for the success of solid waste management. So uh, uh, these are certain uh, observations of, uh, based on uh, the experiences of last couple of years and what we have done on the ground. I would just stop here. And Thank you. To... Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Rasad. It was really enriching uh, for all of us to listen to you. Uh, without wasting much time, I would uh, now request, uh, because uh, your session will be discussed in the last uh, session of this particular webinar. So we'll get uh, more opportunities. Participants will get chance to ask questions, discuss, deliberate, and all that. So I would now request uh, another speaker who is from Bhopal, uh, Mr. Imtiaz Ali, who represents uh, an NGO by name Sartha. He has been lot of he has been doing a lot of wonderful work since almost uh, two decades. Uh, Imtiaz ji, yes, yeah, yeah, 2010 sir. Yes, yes, yes. So, so abhi abhi aap aur Imtiaz abhi Hindi mein aap se baat karenge. So I hope uh, everyone is okay with that. आप सभी को मेरा स्वच्छ नमस्कार और जैसा कि प्रमोद जी के साथ आज से 12 13 साल पहले भोपाल में काम जो हम लोगों ने शुरू किया था उसमें मिले थे रिसेंटली अभी हम लोगों ने अभी आपको जो अभी स्वच्छ भारत मिशन के जो रिजल्ट्स आए हैं और वेस्ट जोन के अंदर भोपाल ने टॉप टॉप किया है और उसमें इंदौर तीसरे नंबर पर रहा है बेसिकली हम लोगों ने 2 साल पहले ही रूरल एरियाज के अंदर काम शुरू किया और स्पेशली जो सूखा कचरा है इसको लेके काम है अब भोपाल के अंदर लगभग एक दो पंचायतों में भी हम लोगों ने काम शुरू किया है और हर पंचायत में हम लोगों ने एक सेग्रीगेशन शेड बनाया हुआ है इस सेग्रीगेशन शेड के बनाकर हम लोगों ने यहां पर लगभग 19 तरह के वेस्ट को हम लोग कलेक्ट करके लेकर आ रहे हैं और उसको सेग्रीगेट करके इन सेग्रीगेशन शेड्स में रखना है इसके अलावा हर विलेज के अंदर हम लोगों ने साइकिल रिक्शा के माध्यम से कलेक्शन मैकेनिज्म डेवलप किया हुआ है और इस कलेक्शन मैकेनिज्म के अंदर हम लोगों ने लोकल जो सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप की जो लेडी है उन्हीं को हमने इसके अंदर एंगेज किया है स्पेशली जो एससी एसटी कम्युनिटी की जो लेडी है इन्हीं के हम लोगों ने ग्रुप बना के उस, उस कलेक्शन में इनको एंगेज किया है इसके अलावा पूरा कलेक्शन मैकेनिज्म का हम लोगों ने एक जीपीएस के माध्यम से पूरा मॉनिटरिंग सिस्टम यहां पे जिला पंचायत भोपाल के अंदर डेवलप किया हुआ है जहां पर हर रिक्शा की करंट लोकेशन हमें पता रहती है कि किस विलेज के अंदर कौन सा रिक्शा किस हाउस होल्ड से किस हाउस होल्ड तक गया और कितने घंटे के अंदर उसने कलेक्शन कर लिया ये पूरा कलेक्शन करके जो भी वेस्ट निकलता है इस वेस्ट को हम लोग जो है अपने सेग्रीगेशन शेड में लाते हैं इस सेग्रीगेशन शेड के अंदर हम लोगों ने तीन तरह के पार्ट अलग अलग किए हुए हैं पहले हम लोगों ने जंबो बैग यहाँ पर दे रखे हैं बड़े बड़े प्लास्टिक के जम्बो बैग हमने यहाँ पे लगाए हुए हैं तो एक बैग के अंदर हम लोग रिसाइकल प्लास्टिक वेस्ट को रखते हैं एक बैग के अंदर हम लोग पेपर कॉटन इसको रखते हैं 
तीसरे व्यक्ति के अंदर जो मल्टी लेयर प्लास्टिक है या एम एल पी एल डी एच बी पी पी है इस टाइप के प्लास्टिक को रखते हैं और एक व्यक्ति के अंदर हम लोग जो हमारे यहाँ से मेटल निकल रहा है ग्लास निकल रहा है ये सारी चीजों को हम लोग रखते हैं हर दस पंचायतों के बीच में हम लोगों ने एक हमारा कलेक्शन पॉइंट और बना रखा है क्योंकि हम लोगों ने ब्लॉक लेवल पे मटेरियल रिकवरी फैसिलिटी एस्टेब्लिश नहीं की है क्योंकि यहाँ पर हम लोगों ने मध्य प्रदेश के डिफरेंट डिस्ट्रिक्ट्स के अंदर जो हमने एक्सरसाइज की हमने ये जाना कि हर डिस्ट्रिक्ट के अंदर अभी एम इस स्टेज के अंदर लगाने की आवश्यकता नहीं क्योंकि विलेजों में जो कचरा हमें मिलना चाहिए उतनी क्वांटिटी के अंदर नहीं निकल रहा तो हम लोगों ने हर डिस्ट्रिक्ट के अंदर एक एक मटेरियल रिकवरी सेंटर बनाने के लिए रिकमेंड किया और भोपाल के अंदर हमारा जो एमआरएफ बन गया है इस एमआरएफ पे हम लोगों ने तीन मशीनें एस्टेब्लिश की हैं प्रमोद जी आपने पहले भी देखा था 2008 के अंदर हम लोगों ने एक फटका मशीन इन्वेंट की थी इससे अंदर हम लोग प्लास्टिक को क्लीनिंग करते हैं जो भी कैरी बैग्स होते हैं पाउचेस होते हैं उनको दूसरा एक बैलिंग मशीन हम लोगों ने वहां लगा रखी है इस बैलिंग मशीन की भी कैपेसिटी जो है पर डे लगभग दो एम के लगभग मटेरियल को वो बेल कर देता है इसके अलावा एक वहां पे शेडर मशीन हम लोगों ने लगाया हुआ है इस शेडर मशीन से हम लोग जो भी प्लास्टिक है उसको हम लोग शेडिंग करके रोड कंस्ट्रक्शन के लिए यूज करते हैं तो हर पांच छह पंचायतों के बीच में हमारा एक कलेक्शन पॉइंट बना हुआ है वहां पर पंचायतें इस वेस्ट को लाकर ड्रॉप कर देती हैं और हर पंचायत के अंदर हम लोगों ने एक रजिस्टर रखा हुआ है अभी और इसको हम लोग पूरा एक ऐप के माध्यम से मॉनिटर करने की व्यवस्था हमारे यहाँ अगले हफ्ते से शुरू हो जाएगी तो जो भी मटेरियल वहां पर निकल रहा है उसके अंदर 19 तरह के वेस्ट हम लोगों ने रिकवर किए हैं जिसमें प्लास्टिक है मल्टीलेयर प्लास्टिक है और पेपर है इसके अंदर पुट्ठा है इसके अंदर एल है एच है पीपी है इसके अंदर पेड बॉटल है ग्लास है मेटल है इसके अलावा जो ह्यूमन हेयर जो निकलते हैं जो हमारे सलून और पार्लर से जो बाल निकलते हैं वो छोटे बालों को भी हम कलेक्ट कर रहे हैं और जो महिलाओं के जो कंगी के अंदर जो बाल निकलते हैं वो बाल भी कलेक्ट कर रहे हैं इसके अलावा वहां जो मृत पशुओं की जो हड्डियां निकलती हैं या डेड एनिमल के जो बॉडी निकलते हैं तो हड्डी को भी हम लोग उस एमआरएफ पर लेकर आ रहे हैं इसके अलावा जो अंडर कुछ हमारी ये की जो भी विलेज से कचरा हम ले रहे हैं उस कचरे से हमारा जो तीन लोगों का स्टाफ उस पंचायत के अंदर लगा हुआ है उसकी सैलरी हम निकाल सकें तो हमारा टारगेट ये कि छह महीने में हम एक ऐसा सस्टेनेबल मॉडल क्रिएट करेंगे जहां पर कि दो टूर कलेक्शन से यूजर फी आएगी उससे और जो वेस्ट हम कलेक्ट कर रहे हैं उस वेस्ट से इन लोगों का पूरा जो रेवेन्यू जी आपकी आवाज कम रही है एक आपकी आवाज नहीं आ रही इम्तियाज जी एमआरएफ पे लाने के बाद हम लोग प्लास्टिक को अलग अलग तेरह तरह की कैटेगरी देखा है कि अभी भी जो मैक्सिमम जो प्लास्टिक जी आपकी आवाज आवाजी क्लियर नहीं है हाँ अभी है। अभी ठीक 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 है 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 कंटिन्यू करिए प्लीज मैं कैमरा बंद कर देता हूं नहीं नहीं चलेगा चलेगा अभी ठीक है अभी ठीक है हमारा आवाज हेलो जी जी अब आवाज आ रहा है मेरा मेरा जी आ आ तो हम लोगों ने इस तरह पूरे प्लास्टिक जो सेग्रीगेट प्लास्टिक है आ, उसको हम अलग करते हैं लेकिन अभी भी जो हम लोगों ने हमारे जो 102 पंचायतें भोपाल के अंदर हैं जहां पे अभी हम लोगों ने फर्स्ट फेज में काम शुरू किया है यहां पर जो वेस्ट कलेक्ट हो रहा है इसमें जो प्लास्टिक मैनली जो कलेक्ट हो रहा है उसके अंदर चौदह परसेंट प्लास्टिक हम लोग कलेक्ट कर रहे हैं टोटल जो वेस्ट में निकल रहा है चौदह परसेंट में से मात्र चार परसेंट प्लास्टिक जो है वो रिसाइकलेबल है बाकी जो दस परसेंट जो प्लास्टिक है वो नॉन रिसाइकलेबल अभी कलेक्ट हो रहा है और ये नॉन रिसाइकल प्लास्टिक को हम एमआरएफ पर लाकर इसको सेग्रीगेट करके शेडिंग करके रोड कंस्ट्रक्शन के अंदर हम सप्लाई कर रहे हैं हमारा डिफरेंट डिस्ट्रिक्ट में जो एम पी के जो डीएम है उनसे हमारा कॉन्टेक्ट हुआ है और पूरा शेडिंग प्लास्टिक हम लोग जो है चौदह रुपए के जी के हिसाब से हम रोड कंस्ट्रक्शन के अंदर दे रहे हैं इसके अलावा जो रिसाइकल मटेरियल हमारे पास आ रहा है इस रिसाइकल मटेरियल को भी हमारे लोकल पे हमारे जो रिसाइकलर हैं हम उनको सप्लाई कर रहे हैं और उससे भी एक अच्छा वैल्यू हमको निकल के आ रहा है इसके अलावा जो पेपर है पुट्टा है ग्लास है मेटल है इन सब चीजों को हम लोग जो है डायरेक्ट रिसाइकलर को दे रहे हैं 
और इनके थ्रू जो भी पेमेंट हमको निकल के आ रहा है उसमें हमने जो एम पे जो तीन लोगों को हमने अपॉइंट किया उन तीन लोगों की सैलरी और आगे चल के जो वहां पे जो इलेक्ट्रिसिटी का जो पंद्रह हजार सोलह हजार का जो बिल आ रहा है उसको भी हम इसी से निकालने का प्रयास करेंगे तो कुल मिला जो भी वेस्ट हमारे यहाँ पास कलेक्ट होकर आ रहा है उसको हम एम पर लाकर सिस्टमेटिक तरीके से उसको सेग्रिएट करके अलग अलग रिसाइकल को भेज रहे हैं साथ ही जो ह्यूमन हेयर जो हमने आपको बताया जो हमारा भोपाल का एक इनोवेशन है इंदौर में भी हम लोगों ने इसको किया था यहाँ पर हम बालों से एक लिक्विड खाद बना रहे हैं और लिक्विड खाद बनाकर भी हम लोगों को सप्लाई कर रहे हैं यहाँ के विलेजर्स की काफी डिमांड आ रही है इसके अलावा जो बोन हमारे यहाँ से निकल रहा है इस बोन को भी हम जो है बोन मिल को सप्लाई करते हैं वहां से हमें शेडेड बोन मिलती है इस शेडेड बोन को हम हमारे कम्पोस्ट के साथ मिला के ये कम्पोस्ट भी हम सप्लाई कर रहे हैं तो लगभग ये बारह रुपए किलो हमारा जो बोन मिल से हम जो कम्पोस्ट बना रहे हैं ये हमारा सप्लाई हो रहा है इस तरह कचरे से हम लोग कंचन बना के और इससे स्थानीय जो हमारे स्वयं सहायता समूह है उनको रोजगार दे रहे हैं और अभी मध्य प्रदेश के भोपाल के अंदर जो हमने 102 पंचायतों के अंदर जो काम किया है इन 102 पंचायतों के बीच में हमने एक एम बनाया है और एक इस एम पर हम हमने इन तीन मशीनों को लगा के ये तमाम डायरेक्ट रिसाइकलर को और इसको प्रोसेसिंग करके हम बताना है इस एम को हमने मध्य प्रदेश पॉल्यूशन कंट्रोल बोर्ड से ऑथोराइज भी किया है पूरी हमने लीगल इसकी परमिशन भी लिए और परमिशन लेके उसको हम ऑर्गेनाइज कर रहे हैं इस पूरे सिस्टम को रूरल एरिया से कलेक्ट कराने से लेके किस गाड़ी से वो हमारे एम पर आया और एम के अंदर कितना मटेरियल आया कितों को हमने प्रोसेस किया कितने को रिसाइकल किया और किस रेट में ये किस रिसाइकल हो गया इसका एक पूरा ऐप हम लोगों ने डेवलप किया हुआ है जो की जिला पंचायत में इसका पूरा एक हम लोगों ने सर्वर बनाया हुआ है वहां से हमारे सीओ सीओ जनपद सीओ भी उसको मॉनिटर करते हैं हम लोग भी मॉनिटर करते हैं कि कितना मटेरियल आया कितना मटेरियल रिसाइकिल भी गया तो पूरी वैल्यू चेन और हमारे पूरे वेस्ट का जो एक हमें एक वैल्यू मिलनी चाहिए वो वैल्यू हम इससे गैन कर रहे हैं और हमारे ऐसे जिसको इसको प्रमोट कर रहे हैं छह महीने के लिए सार्थक संस्था को जिला पंचायत भोपाल ने इस एम को प्रॉपरली रन करने के लिए अभी एक पायलट बेसिस पे दिया हुआ है और मध्य प्रदेश के कई और जिलों में भी हम इसी वैसे जो है जा रहे हैं हमारा इस काम को लेके मुख्य उद्देश्य है कि जो भी सूखा कचरा या रिसाइकल मटेरियल हमारे ग्राम पंचायतों से निकल रहा है उसको मार्केट लिंकेज कराना और उसको वैल्यू एडिशन करके आगे बढ़ाना जिससे कि उसका एक बेहतर वैल्यू एक बेहतर राशि हमको मिल सके जिससे कि हमारे सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप जो है वो प्रमोट हो सके और एम जो है सस्टेनेबल मॉडल बन सके क्योंकि मैंने कई और राज्यों के अंदर भी जाकर देखा कि एम तो बन गया है डोर टू डोर कलेक्शन भी चालू हो गया लेकिन उनमें जो वर्कर लगे हैं वहां जो कर्मचारियों को नियुक्त किया गया है उनकी सैलरी जो है वो पंद्रह वित्त आयोग से या जब पंचायत जो है वो दे रही है तो हमारा छह महीने बाद ये उद्देश्य है कि हम हमारे कचरे से ही हमारा जो भी स्टाफ लगा है या जो भी हमारा मैनेजमेंट में जो खर्चा आ रहा है वो पूरा हम इस वेस्ट से निकालें और वेस्ट से निकाल के एक आत्मनिर्भर ग्राम और आत्मनिर्भर वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट का एक मॉडल मध्य प्रदेश की राजधानी भोपाल से हम लोग बनाकर अन्य राज्यों को भी हम पहुंचाने का प्रयास कर रहे हैं इस तरह प्लास्टिक तो एक मेजर इश्यू था ही प्लास्टिक के अलावा अदर वेस्ट भी हम लोगों ने इसमें कलेक्ट करके उसको प्रोसेसिंग करके आगे बढ़ा रहे हैं आगे हम जाके जब हमारे पास वेस्ट की क्वांटिटी और बढ़ जाएगी और तो दो सौ गांव के अंदर जब हम चले जाएंगे तो हमारा प्लान ये है कि हम पेपर मैकिंग यूनिट भी एक एनुअल एम के माध्यम से यहाँ पर लगा रहे हैं इसके अलावा ब्लॉक लेवल पे हम लोग जो है फिर ये बालों का जो हमारा प्रोडक्शन है बालों से जो हम लोग अमीनो एसिड बना रहे हैं उससे हम लोग ब्लॉक लेवल पे अमीनो एसिड प्लांट लगाएंगे इसके अलावा इसी एम पर हम लोग जो है जो अभी हमने प्रोसेसिंग की परमिशन लेके इस प्लास्टिक को प्रोसेस कर रहे हैं आगे जाके हम एग्लो और एग्लो मशीन लगा के इसके लम्स और गैनोल बनाने का भी यूनिट यहाँ पर लगाने का हम लोग का प्रोग्राम है इसके अलावा हर कलेक्ट होता है उसको हम लोग रिसाइकलिंग फैसिलिटी को भेजते हैं जो हजार बेस्ट और जो बायोमेडिकल वेस्ट हमारे विलेजों से निकल रहा है उसको भी हम लोग कलेक्ट कर रहे हैं और कलेक्ट करके जो यहाँ लोकल लेवल पर एजेंसी हैं हम उनको वो मटेरियल अवेलेबल करा रहे हैं इसके अलावा जो कंपोस्टेबल मटेरियल निकल रहा है या जो हमारा एग्रीकल्चर वेस्ट निकल रहा है इस एग्रीकल्चर वेस्ट से भी हम लोग जो है कोल और इससे जो है बैरिकेड बनाने की एक यूनिट यहाँ पर हमारे यहाँ लग चुकी है वहां हम ग्रामों के माध्यम से सप्लाई कर रहे हैं इसके अलावा भोपाल के आसपास लगभग 22 गो काश इकाइयां लगी हैं लगभग सत्तर लाख सत्तर हजार रुपए की लागत की ये गो काश की इकाइयां हैं तो गांव से जो गोबर निकल रहा है जो काउ डंग निकल रहा है इस काउ डंग को भी प्रॉपरली कलेक्ट करके हमारे का जो गोकाश बनाने वाले जो प्लांट हैं या वेस्ट टू एनर्जी वाले प्लांट हैं वो डेढ़ रुपए किलो हमारा इस गोबर का प्राइस भी हमको देते हैं उनके गाड़ियां हमारे गांव के अंदर आती हैं 
और वहां से गोबर लेकर चली जाती है तो कुल मिला के कचरे से कंचन और कचरे से आत्मनिर्भर ग्राम बनाने की एक प्रक्रिया हम लोगों ने भोपाल के 102 पंचायतों के अंदर प्रारंभ की है निश्चित तौर पे भोपाल जो वेस्ट जोन के अंदर प्रथम स्थान इसने प्राप्त किया है हमारी इन्हीं सारे इनिशिएटिव को लेकर और बेसिकली हम लोगों ने कम्युनिटी पार्टिसिपेशन पर ज्यादा ध्यान दिया हमने ग्राम स्तर पे जो एस एच के माध्यम से जो काम शुरू किया है हमने लोगों को जोड़ा हमने धार्मिक लोगों को जोड़ा हमने स्थानीय ऐसे स्वयं सेवकों को जोड़ा है कि जो गांव के अंदर जिनकी एक अच्छी इमेज है हम गांव में हर घर से डोर टू कलेक्शन को भी प्रमोट तो कर ही रहे साथ ही एड सोर्स सेग्रीगेशन को भी यहाँ पर प्रमोट कर रहे हैं और हम विलेज लेवल पर जो हमारे सेग्रीगेशन शेड्स हैं वहां से उस पूरे मटेरियल को ट्रांसपोर्ट करके एमआरएफ पर लाकर इसका साइंटिफिक डिस्पोजल कर रहा है इस तरह से जो प्लास्टिक का जो इश्यू जो मल्टीलेयर प्लास्टिक ग्रामों के अंदर आ रहा है कि इस प्लास्टिक की वैल्यू नहीं मिल पा रही है या मैक्सिमम हमको नॉन रिसाइकल या मल्टीलेयर लेयर प्लास्टिक ही मिल पा रहा है तो उस प्लास्टिक का पूरा एक बिजनेस मॉडल हम लोगों ने यहाँ बना दिया है लगभग पांच से चौदह रुपए किलो तक का इस मल्टीलेयर प्लास्टिक का हमें प्राइस मिल रहा है प्रमोद जी जानते हैं कि हम लोगों ने दो से सिमिल इंडस्ट्रीज के अंदर प्लास्टिक को एज ए अल्टरनेटिव फील्ड यूज कराने के लिए जो काम मध्य प्रदेश पॉल्यूशन कंट्रोल के माध्यम से शुरू किया था उसी मॉडल को हम लोगों ने रूरल एरिया के अंदर प्रारंभ किया है और इसके बहुत ही सकारात्मक परिणाम निकल कर आए हैं पिछले हफ्ते पिछले महीने हमारे यहाँ एक चार राज्यों का एक वर्कशॉप हुआ था उस वर्कशॉप में भी हम लोगों ने इस भोपाल मॉडल को प्रेजेंट कर ग्रामों के अंदर जो भी सस्टेनेबल मॉडल बनाना है उस पर हमने बातचीत की थी और आगे जाके नए नए और हम इसके अंदर ऐसे कुछ इनोवेशन करने वाले जिससे कि हम इन ग्राम में जो ऐसे जिस हमारे जो काम कर रहे हैं इनकी इनकम को हम और बढ़ा सके हमने इस पूरे कार्यक्रम के लिए एक पूरा एक पीपीटी और एक डॉक्यूमेंट्री बनाई थी लेकिन यहाँ पर समय की अवधि मात्र दस मिनट होने की वजह से उस पीपीटी को यहाँ प्रेजेंट करना मुझे नहीं लगता था कि इस शॉर्ट टाइम के अंदर संभव होगा तो आगे प्रमोद जी या जेकब जी को अवसर देंगे तो डिटेल के अंदर हमने जो टेक्नोलॉजी डेवलप की है जो कलेक्शन मैकेनिज्म डेवलप किया है और जो एमओयू करके पूरा एक ट्रेजिबिलिटी एविडेंस का एक जो भोपाल मॉडल जो रूरल का बनाया है उसको हम आपके माध्यम से प्रेजेंट करके देश के अन्य भागों में भी पहुंचाने का प्रयास करेंगे धन्यवाद बहुत 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 बढ़िया इम्तियाज जी आपने एक्चुअली बारह मिनट के समय में आपने काफी कुछ कह दिया है काफी इंटरेस्टिंग लर्निंग मेरी तो रही है भोपाल में जब हम थे तब लेकिन आई एम श्योर कि हमारे पार्टिसिपेंट जो है अभी उनको भी काफी कुछ समझ में आ गया होगा और पर्टिकुलर इम्तियाज जी का जो अप्रोच है वो सच में एक्चुअली सराहनीय है एंड में आपको मौका दिया जाएगा क्वेश्चंस अगर कुछ आपके है तो लेने का लेकिन बिकॉज आई हैव सीन इट पर्सनली इट हेज स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम द स्क्रैच आई वुड से जमीन से शुरुआत हुई है और अभी पूरे एमपी में और काफी जगह पे उनको डिमांड है ऑलरेडी उनके अप्रोचेस को क्योंकि वो जमीन से जुड़े हुए काफी कुछ ऐसी चीजें कर रहे हैं जो नॉर्मली लोग करना नहीं चाहते एंड दैट इज व्हाट प्रिसाइजली वी आर लुकिंग फॉर थैंक यू वेरी मच इम्तियाज जी आई वुड नाउ रिक्वेस्ट वेरी यंग डायनामिक अरिक्या रॉय हुज डिमोन्स्ट्रेटेड समथिंग वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग इन very urban areas of uh, bihar i would say uh, as i said in the beginning we have a lot of technology options available but what about approaches what about that mindset what about looking at things in maybe a slightly different way or different lens so that is what precisely arakya along with in fact he was uh, with uh, aga khan foundation earlier in patna and uh, there he demonstrated along with uh, asad also also actually part of it so i would like to request arkya to please uh, share his field experiences uh, thank you pramod sir uh, in the interest of time i will not present because uh, that will take up a long time uh, but uh, i'll uh, first of all i'm really grateful today to be flanked by two of my member uh, mentors uh, asad sir and pramod sir uh, to uh, give you a sense uh, what we are going to talk about in another 5 minutes time is is a sort of a practice innovation uh in october uh, 2021 uh in aga khan foundation at that point of time was implementing a solid waste management program in three uh, peri urban ulbs in uh, patnapal barishari danapur and khagol and uh, on one uh, visit with uh, which involved pramod ji uh, a, a key discussion was uh, in and around how we can move from technology to other other issues uh, around solid waste management 
and what emerged from that discussion and what was carried out on the ground by Aga Khan Foundation and Gram Swarajya Samiti Ghoshi uh, was a small pilot, a practice pilot called Collect Only Wet Waste or Cow Approach. Uh, now, in, in another uh, three to four minutes of time, I'll try to sort of distill what uh, cow approach is. Now, uh, let's first, uh, because uh, already Assessor and, and Promoter has in detail spoken about uh, what are the key challenges to uh, solid waste management in urban and rural areas are uh, already been there. One of the things are poor uh, quality segregation. Uh, second is lack of human resource with ULBs and the gram panchayats and tools to sort of carry out solid waste management services. And that leads to uh, inability to facilitate daily waste collection. That leads to... Uh, GPs and uh, ULBs, they get exhausted only with uh, collection and transportation and uh, they, they enable to move and uh, provide the full range of services uh, around solid waste management and all of it leads to get the required revenue from waste, uh, be it uh, wet waste composted into uh, manure, be it dry waste uh, sold for recycling. Uh, to break this cycle, uh, Aga Khan Foundation and Gram Swarajya Samiti Ghoshi between March to May in nine wards of Dhanapur, Fulbari, Sharif and Patna launched a cow approach. So the salient features are uh, wards and villages, they decide to collect only wet waste on a daily basis. Dry waste they were households were care, told to keep it throughout the one day was selected for collection of the dry waste and preferably on a weekend collected wet waste were managed uh, and composted dry waste were further sorted at IMRF facility and uh, self sold for recycling why did we do cow approach uh, reasons behind that it reduces the burden of secondary segregation which means that mixed waste at a mrf center takes a lot of time for further sorting and processing so it cuts down that time uh, cow also reduces waste collection timings and rounds of trip for the tipper vehicles so when a uh, vehicle fills up very quickly because of wet and dry waste are both being collected and immediately it has to do two three rounds and that has cost and third is that it radically improved ways to resource generation because it immediately gets into gets people to do the segregation and the more the waste is segregated the more value we can get out of it at the practice level what we did is we first went and did a uh, in-depth waste characterization we realized how much waste on a daily basis from these wards are coming out we figured out the segregation at the baseline was in around 35%. Daily average waste coming out from household was 550 grams. And when we reviewed the existing collection and transportation trends, we figured out that although it was said the uh, claim by the ULBs that the waste is collected on daily basis, it was only collected on alternative days. And sometimes for multiple trips, Households will have to wait till noon, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, till the waste would get out of their, uh, be collected from their house. And a lot of people would not wait till that time and throw the waste in some nearby dump. We also figured out that because of this thing, there is a lot of tension between the community and the ULB and the service providers regarding that. And we also figured out that within the ward, there is a lot of uh, community coalition that can change this situation. When we started with cow, we first talked to them. We first talked to every key stakeholder at the ward level to sort of to, to sort of get this message across that for the six days we'll only collect waste waste, and the seventh day we'll collect dry waste. We piloted in three mohallas. We didn't even take the whole ward. We just took part of the ward and we piloted that initiative. Uh, and it on the pilot level, it took more time to sort of this new behavior to get ingrained. We identified the early birds, families that, that understood this concept and started complying them. And we started a Parivesh Mitra Parivar sticker, a campaign with them to acknowledge that these households are complying. And also we told the ULBs, we requested the ULBs and got them twin dustbins from the ULBs effort. Uh, 
Uh, and over the period of three months, uh, we saw source segregation improve from 35% to 95%. We saw the collection time reduced considerably, especially because the community cooperation and reduction in dye waste volume meant lesser trade. Communities also carried out additional actions such as initiating composting at marketplaces that happened in a place called Khagal, uh, removing waste buildup near school campus in Danapur, and uh, segregated and in small hand cuts, you will be in Fulbari Sharif came forward and created partitions in there. At the MRF center, cow resulted in more quality segregated waste coming and the processing time for that waste for the team out there reduced. So we saw before cow, there were only one to two vehicles, mainly daily 800 kg to 900 kg waste could be processed by a team of 10 members. But with cow implemented, it reached to 4,800 kgs per day. Uh, and to strengthen this, to sustain these activities, we focused on composting of wet waste. We focused on seg secondary sorting and sale of the dry waste for recycling. We focused on developing SSG-led business models. And we focused on utilization of the earned revenue for improved services such as landscaping and dustbins in public places. And we also focused on scale up over a wider geography. So this is uh, for everyone is in a nutshell, what cow method is, collection of only wet waste for six days and the collection of the dry waste on the seventh day, implemented by Aga Khan Foundation and Gram Swaraj Samiti Ghoshi between March to May 2022, over nine words, which are now being scaled up across these three ULPs. Thank you. <clears throat> Very interesting, uh, Arukya. Cow approach, as I said, I have been working in the sector for more than two decades and uh, seen, seen almost everything, starting from what, what happens at household level, gram panchayat level, mohla level, ward level, city level, small city, big city, metros, mega cities and all that. So, and uh, honestly, I would like to tell you that source segregation is the biggest challenge even now, even today. And until and unless we find some workable solution to that, it will be really very difficult for us to manage waste sustainably. And that is where precisely cow approach, collect only wet waste approach, though it sounds slightly new, but once we start working, one, some, of, some of the cities were already doing it in bits and pieces actually, but what we did, we tried to kind of structure it properly. That is the main difference. Uh, um, that is the main difference between other approaches and cow approach. Now I would like to open it to the audience so that we can take a few questions and try to understand these three interventions in a slightly uh, better manner. Right? Is that uh, okay, Nitya? Uh, yeah, it's okay. I'll email you some questions which people have put in the yes. chat box and the Q&A box also. So you could yes, uh, yes. take a look. Uh, can anyone, especially I think uh, uh, Asad and uh, Intiaz would be able to tell, uh, do you, can you, aap, uh, koi aise successful examples bata sakte ho, pe household level source segregation in rural context both achhi tarah se hua hai. Is it possible? And what are the factors which made it happen? Aap, uh, agar thoda briefly bata pahe to achha rahega, hamar ek uh, participant ka sawal hai actually. प्रभु जी भोपाल के 10 किलोमीटर दूर एक करोंदी विलेज है हमारा ओके okay. और इस करोंदी विलेज के अंदर तीन कम्युनिटी के मैक्स लोग रहते हैं लगभग 72 हाउसहोल्ड्स हैं यहां पे यहां पे जब हम लोगों ने काम शुरू किया तो लोगों ने कहा कि भाई हम अपना कचरा आपको क्यों दें ये कचरा तो हमारे काम का है हम इससे खाद बनाते हैं और खाद बना के इसका उपयोग करते हैं तो शुरू में लोगों ने बिल्कुल मना कर दिया कि हम कचरा अपना देंगे नहीं और दूसरा क्या जगह-जगह उन्होंने जगह अपने घोड़े बना रखे थे तो घोड़ों में ओपनली वो उस कचरे को जला देते थे तो उसके अंदर प्लास्टिक जो था वो जल जाता था फिर हम लोगों ने एक बिहेवियर चेंज का एक प्रोग्राम उनके गांव के अंदर शुरू किया और अभी जो लास्ट ईयर जब नवरात्रि बैठे थे नवरात्रि के अंदर हम लोगों ने उनके साथ पंडाल पर ही बैठ के चर्चा करी 
और चर्चा करने के बाद उनको जब इस प्लास्टिक को जलाने के इससे होने वाले नुकसानों के बारे में जब बताया तो वो उस बात को लेकर अवेयर हुए अब वही की महिलाओं का एक ग्रुप जो है हमने उनसे कहा कि भाई आप डोर कलेक्शन आप कर लीजिए लोग तैयार हैं लगभग साठ से पैंसठ परसेंट लोग वहां के यूजर फी भी देते लेकिन वो महिलाएं जो थी उस कचरा कलेक्शन के काम में आगे नहीं आ रही तो हमने कहा कि अगर आप नहीं करते तो हम किसी दूसरे गांव के लोगों को हम बुला लेते तो हमने पास के ही गाँव के दो लोगों को वहां पर अपॉइंट कर दिया जब उन्होंने देखा कि महीने के अंदर एक अच्छी खासी इनकम उनके पास यूजर फी से भी आने लगी और जो कचरा वहां से जो इकट्ठा हो रहा था उससे भी आने लगी और जो खाद बन रही थी उनकी उस खाद से भी उनपे इनकम होने लगी तो तीन महीने बाद वो सारे के सारे जिला पंचायत अध्यक्ष के पास पहुंचे और जिला पंचायत सीओ के पास पहुंचे साहब नहीं ये जो काम जो डोर टू डोर कलेक्शन का है ये हमको ही दीजिए क्योंकि हमारे गांव का पैसा दूसरे गांव वाले लेके जा रहे हैं तो हमने उनसे कहा भाई पहले तो हमने आप ही को प्राथमिकता दी थी तो एक सक्सेस मॉडल करोंदी के अंदर बना आज वहां पर लिक्विड वेस्ट का भी बहुत अच्छा एक मॉडल तैयार हुआ है और जो सैग्रीगेशन शेड बना है आप वहां पर आकर देखेंगे अभी हमारे प्रमुख सचिव और भारत सरकार के जो सचिव है नरोका जी आए थे उन्होंने भी आके उस गांव का विजिट किया था और गांव को देखा उन्होंने आके गांव वालों से बातचीत करी तो वहां पे जो डॉट टूअर कलेक्शन हुआ और बिहेवियर चेंज के बाद लोगों का जो पार्टिसिपेशन स्वच्छ भारत मिशन ग्रामीण के साथ हुआ उसके बड़े अच्छे साथ बहुत बढ़िया इम्तियाज जी क्वेश्चन थोड़ा सा और थोड़ा सा डीपर जाके था हाउस होल्ड लेवल पे सेग्रीगेशन क्या कौन से ऐसे फैक्टर्स है जो ट्रिगर कर रहे हैं हाउस होल्ड लेवल सेग्रीगेशन करने के लिए लोगों को असद आप भी बता सकते हैं इनके प्रैक्टिकल आई थिंक प्रमोद अर्का हैज ऑलरेडी रिस्पॉन्डेड टू दिस इन फैक्ट सम ऑफ दी पेरी अर्बन एरियाज दे आर मोर लेस लाइक एनी अर्बनाइज वेलेजेस uh so uh, and and the kind of approach that was adopted there especially this is something that was a sort of uh, uh, a good learning for us as well and inside uh, when uh, and this is something uh, especially this cow approach that has actually uh, triggered the way uh, at household level the waste uh, are are being segregated so that is one part second uh, somewhere somehow again in peri urban areas um Uh, if you promote uh, especially uh, the household level composting so we have actually some good examples again uh, from peri urban areas around patna city um, in danapur khagol pulwari uh, sharif those are those are certain areas where uh, almost in 4000 households uh, this is something that was uh, promoted and uh, people have adopted it quite successfully uh, but the only point is there is no shortcut actually you have to invest and invest for years actually with 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 these communities you have to come up with certain uh, say for example participatory planning pro- i mean again this is going to be a sort of repetitive thing but the fact is we, we have no option but to invest in community level processes we have no option but to actually invest in the capacity or capacities of panchayat then only we can come up with a sort of good solutions and uh, as imtiaz ji has already mentioned arka has mentioned there are good examples uh, uh, even at household level the uh, of uh, waste segregation so uh, okay. uh, yeah i would just stop here but yes yes you, what uh, what what uh, question is to any of uh, you all three of you can maybe respond uh, we know that uh, at village level at rural uh, level capacities per se are not very high especially about such things one two it may not be a priority for many so how do you how do you actually work on building their capacity ensure that they participate in the program ensure that uh, awareness level has built so that they can support to the program they participate they do whatever you are asking them to do what 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 uh, maybe very simplest language you can uh, demystify this imtiaz ji aap bhi bata sakte hain community level pe actually बहुत बड़ी बड़ी बातें न करते हुए कौन सी ऐसी छोटी छोटी चीजें हैं जो एक्चुअली वर्क हो रही है जब हम अवेयरनेस जनरेशन की बात करते हैं जब हम कैपेसिटी बिल्डिंग की बात करते हैं सरपंच है फॉर एग्जांपल किसी ग्राम पंचायत का उनको शायद बहुत बड़ी बड़ी बातें समझ में नहीं आएगी लेकिन कुछ करके दिखाए या वट एवर तो कौन सी ऐसी चीजें है जो आपको लगता है क्योंकि हम अभी यहाँ पे पार्टिसिपेंट जो है पूरे इंडिया से है उनको ऐसी चीजें जानिए जो एक्चुअली फील्ड में काम करती है जी जब भी हम किसी नए विलेज के अंदर डोर टू डोर कलेक्शन करने की पूरी व्यवस्था करते हैं तो सबसे पहले तो वहाँ के जो 
पंचायत है पंचायत स्तर पे जो अप्रोच की जाती है मुझे लगता है सरकारी स्तर पे जो विलेजर से जो अप्रोच होती है वो इतनी अपीलीय नहीं है क्योंकि सरकार मुनादी भी कराती है घर घर से कलेक्ट कराने की बात भी करती है लेकिन जब कम्युनिटी पार्टिसिपेशन को आप बढ़ाएंगे तब इसके रिजल्ट अच्छे आएंगे और कम्युनिटी पार्टिसिपेशन तभी संभव है जब उस गांव के लोगों के माध्यम से आप बिहेवियर चेंज पे काम करेंगे क्योंकि उनकी आदत डल चुकी है कचरे को नाले में फेंकना या घर के बाहर फेंकना या रोड के साइड में फेंकना उस आदत को बदलने में हमें समय लगेगा और ये समय इस चीज को आप सरकारी डंडे से आप नहीं कर सकते जब तक कि स्थानीय लोग आपके साथ नहीं हो इसके लिए हमने एक प्रयोग किया कि गांव के अंदर जो मंदिर के पुजारी हैं जो वहां के संत हैं उनसे हमने अपील करवाई कि आप जो है इन लोगों से बोले कि घर का कचरा बाहर ना फेंके या झाड़ के रोड के किनारे पर या रोड के बीच में ना लाए उनकी अपील उन्होंने मानी इसके अलावा एक मुस्लिम विलेज था हमारे बैरसिया ब्लॉक के अंदर जहां पे 95 परसेंट मुस्लिम आबादी थी तो वहां पर हमने एक प्रयोग किया कि हमने शहर काजी से एक फतवा जारी करवाया जिला पंचायत सीओ के निवेदन पे शहर काजी ने एक फतवा जारी किया और कहा कि कुरान में स्वच्छता जो है पाकि जो है आधा ईमान है और पाक करना है गांव को साफ रखना है तो आपको सहयोग करना पड़ेगा ये अपील वहां की मस्जिद से हुई जुमे की नमाज के खुतबे के बाद ये अपील हुई तो उसका रिजल्ट ये निकला कि सारे लोगों ने अपने घरों में दो दो डब्बे रखे और घर का कचरा और साइकिल रिक्शा को देना शुरू किया तो ये नए नए प्रयोग हमको करने होंगे अभी रिसेंटली हम लोगों ने एक नया किया था कि सास बहु की लोटा दौड़ कर आई क्योंकि क्या होता है कि महिलाएं आज भी खुले के अंदर कहीं कहीं शोच के लिए जाती हैं तो इस प्रैक्टिस को बंद करने के लिए हमने सास बहु की लोटा दौड़ कराई और सास बहु में दौड़ करा के ये पता लगा कि हमारे घर की जो महिला है हमारी जो मातृशक्ति है उसका सम्मान कितना सर्वोपरि हो उसकी अपील जब दूसरे गाँव के अंदर गई तो बड़ा अच्छा उसका रिजल्ट निकल कर आया अभी नवरात्रि के समय पे हम लोगों ने स्वच्छ चुनरी यात्रा निकाली हर गांव के अंदर हम लोगों ने एक सफेद कपड़े का कपड़े की साड़ी लगाई और उस पर सब लोगों के हमने साइन करवाया कि भाई हम अपने गांव को स्वच्छ रखेंगे तो हम प्रण लेते हैं तो वो सब पे उन्होंने लाके उस पर साइन किए और उस पूरे गाँव की लगभग बत्तीस गाँव ने उस पर पार्टिसिपेट किया उन गाँव की पूरी साड़ियों को हम लोगों ने फिर सीखे एक स्वच्छ चुंदरी यात्रा निकाली जो कि उस ब्लाक के विभिन्न ग्रामों से निकल कर गई जिसमें लोग जुड़े और लोगों ने देखा कि नहीं इतने गांव वालों ने हस्ताक्षर किए कि हम अपने गांव को साफ रखेंगे तो ये छोटे छोटे प्रयोग करके आप बिहेवियर चेंज को प्रमोट कर सकते हैं और लोगों को अपने साथ जोड़ सकते हैं ये एक्चुअली इम्तियाज जी ये छोटे छोटे प्रयोग नहीं ये बहुत बड़ी बड़ी चीज है एक्चुअली और यही सब मैटर कर रहा है प्रमोद जी अब तो क्या होता है पिछले 22 साल से कचरे पे काम कर रहा हूँ तो रात को सोते में भी कचरे के सपने आते हैं उसके अंदर नए नए प्रयोग करने के आइडियाज आते हैं उनको लिखता हूँ और फील्ड पे इम्प्लीमेंट करता हूँ और जो सक्सेस होते हैं आप जैसे लोगों के माध्यम से मंच से उसको साझा करता हूँ बहुत बढ़िया बहुत बढ़िया माई एक्चुअली आई थिंक अरेक्या मे बी इन बेटर पोजिशन टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन What do you suggest, or okay, based on your experience in peri-urban areas of uh, Patna? Well, one of the things that work uh, really no, well. No question. Question. Just one second. Just yeah. Question is actually yet to come. Question is, do you do you foresee that, or do you suggest that we should engage private operator, NGO, SSGs, or municipality or gram panchayat themselves are well capacitated to do all this on their own? What kind of approach? Uh, especially who does it when you ask the question who does it what do you think yeah. in co approach from the experience uh, yeah from the experience that uh, that uh, that we get from our work in bihar it tells that uh, not every time it is possible for the municipalities tier uh, to tier three municipalities or uh, gram panchayats to so- sort of carry out every bit of activity but the governance aspect must remain with the system and it should be decentralized in a way that the community should be part of it one of the key things that were done in bihar by arkan foundation and gram swaraj samiti ghoshti was to bring in uh, citizen leaders uh, to people the uh, the early birds that we spoke about the people who had the initial in normal inclination towards swachhata normal inclination to uh, uh, waste management and and who had some influence in the community aga khan foundation and gssg and within their project they brought them as middle level leaders who will negotiate between the community and the 
and the third party and the government. So, so, so the so so the governance aspect it included an harmony between the private player, the government, and the and other system provider or the community. So, so the Bihar experience time and again uh, shows that these people in the middle provides a lot of cushion to sort of bring down the tension that otherwise exists or the uh, distrust that otherwise exists between these various stakeholders. So that is there. So if, even if we go all, all uh, third party or all, uh, all private, we should ensure that this community participation, this measure should be there to ease up the relationship. Great. Thank you. Um, Asad, a very interesting question from one of the participants. We always kind of uh, try to find easy targets, and that is Gram Panchayat. We always say that uh, Gram Panchayats may not have capacities to you know, do things, whether it is planning, implementation, monitoring, evaluation, or whatever. But what about other levels? There is a block, there is a district, there is a state, maybe there is a center. I don't know. Maybe there are agencies. Uh, like all of us working in the sector. So how do you look at uh, this capacity building as a challenge starting from local level to upwards maybe? What uh, district, district for instance, to me district sounds uh, as the most appropriate unit of intervention planning. It can be a kind of hub. So how do you look at all this? Well, uh, Pramod, uh... I will go one step lower at block level. For me, actually, uh, in a country like India, block is perhaps the most appropriate unit. And if you just recall uh, 2011, when uh, the new guideline of Ministry of Drinking Water and Sanitation came up and uh, they have promoted this block resource center, I still advocate that you need a sort of robust block resource center to extend required support to panchayats. Now, in any state where you have an empowered uh, 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 block level functionaries that is there, you will see that things are actually moving at village level, at Gram Panchayat level. So of course, uh, somewhere it's, mm, uh, capacity building uh, at district water and sanitation mission, that should be, and that must be a priority. Uh, but personally, I feel that uh, uh, even at block level, uh, institutions like block resource center must be revived. And especially for uh, interventions like solid waste management, plastic waste management, fecal sludge management, I think somewhere we really need to invest and invest heavily um, at that block level uh, to make things work, actually. Okay. But yeah, but for me, uh, district and block are the critical uh, areas, and uh, uh, definitely there is a capacity constraint to ensure a sort of seamless and sustainable intervention on the ground. Therefore, I personally feel that yes, at at, uh, uh, at least block and district must be capacitated. Okay, great. Anything about political intervention, support, blow, or whatever? In whatever way, political entities contribute, well, I think, don't contribute uh, support? Uh, definitely, I mean, uh, elected representatives, they have their own role to play. They always play, uh, and wherever uh, there is a sort of priority at their level, things actually moves on the ground. So uh, 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 at, uh, especially with the elected representative, I think there is a sort of need to have a sort of, for example, uh, it is not only uh, 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 the uh, uh, Sarpanch or Pradhan at, at uh, uh, Gram Panchayat level, but even Block Pramukh or even uh, the uh, uh, chairman of Zilla Parishad, they are quite important. Uh, uh, so is the case with uh, MPs and MLAs because you know, I mean, there is huge uh, 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 in terms of financial uh, uh, resources that is uh, that we can unlock if we actually engage with them. For example, M uh, local area development fund, both at uh, uh, for MLAs as well as for MPs. Those things are there, and if if for example they are convinced, especially member of parliament or even uh, MLAs, then things can actually move on the ground. Great. Thank you very much. I think it's already, we are already running 10 minutes late and uh, I would say a few words and uh, then we can maybe wrap up. First of all, I would like to, like to thank uh, all of you for being there and um, making such a wonderful uh, presentation, sharing your experiences, which are really worth appreciating, I would say.
it is a challenge it is a challenge uh, those who have done may find it bit easy those who have not done for them it is another milestone to achieve but as i said earlier also uh, until and unless we we crack that uh, uh, yes matthew is saying it is a challenge but it is possible very much uh, matthew yeah, matthew is challenge hey, yeah. yes yes matthew is oh great great i am seeing his um, uh, questions okay so okay, great. Uh, asad asad in the beginning you said that waste is wealth whether it is practical or not or should we only look at financial sustainability kind of elements of solid waste management i very strongly very very strongly i would say recommend advocate and say very convincingly that financial sustainability is very much possible and i think that is one model that can that can actually cater to the challenges we are facing today uh approaches like cow maybe there there may be number of such approaches but cow because we tried it in some area because we find found it very convincing because because it is addressing more than one problem to be addressed at at a time say for instance we have been we have been telling people to segregate source segregate waste right but where are the results go to indore go to navi mumbai go to mysore go to visakhapatnam go to bhopal go to any part of the country i would say situation is shown rosy but in reality is quite different i have seen right so so until and unless, unless we kind of try to find root cause of these problems we will not uh, end up to a safer place and that is where we are saying that uh, arkya rightly pointed out by presenting his approach about cow collect only wet waste on daily basis actually you know dry waste can be collected on periodic basis so if we can do this one thing at every household level every place where waste is generated as i said earlier 80% of the challenges related to solid waste can, uh, management can be sorted out why i am saying so because once you source segregate waste forget for time being about cow approach by any means or methods you source segregate waste what is happening immediately is that you are segregating dry waste which is very resource poor which has financial value which, which has ready market value wherein we can talk of um, mrf centers or whatever centers dividing it further into 18 elements 20 elements 50 elements and selling it to the market and things like that that is only possible if you have high quality source segregated waste right so by adopting some approach like this what you are immediately doing is that you are putting these different elements or different constituents of the whole solid waste management into different baskets and looking looking at it in a maybe very productive way, manner then there are you know market is all functioning market is there market is market is is functioning market is market is actually looking at you know what is happening in the in the generation level they are ready to pick up they are ready to purchase they are ready to pay in addition to that we now have uh, approaches like epr very strong instrument i would say uh, you call it financial instrument or policy instrument but it is very strong instrument which can actually actually revolutionize the way we have been looking at solid waste so far so i think i think all these challenges we have discussed be it capacity building training or institutional uh, issues or maybe uh, uh, working together or convergence or financial capacities or technology challenges these are to me not much of a challenge what is challenge is source segregation so i think we should really put our efforts and energy to source segregation by whatever mean we can and next next element are relatively easy i am saying this again and again because once you have high quality source segregated waste number of things can be done mm, sustainability is another element we have been discussing once we once we once we source segregate waste number of such possibilities arise biomethanation for example you spoke about uh, gobardhan yojana right gobardhan yojana is is such a powerful uh, uh, scheme which can actually convert all biodegradable into something it can be mainly into maybe biomethanation kind of stuff and there are proven ex experiences across the country which can cater to or fill in the gaps here 
so this is what uh, um, in brief i wanted to say let me just check if uh, i have missed on something no problem yeah. it's covered all all the important yeah so so with this uh, nitya you want to say anything no no fine i am okay oh. i think there is something about uh, just one second some epr question i think is there uh, i don't know what is that i just one second quickly yes we can actually see uh, epr is relatively new concept we we really need to work out with uh, msmes recyclers plastic manufacturers maybe people like intias who is who is actually doing many things at field level and i am sure there are solutions to it in, in fact agencies like msme is definitely seriously looking looking at all this they will be more than happy to support interventions like this right in case there are any a, a, any additional suggestions to what we discuss please write down we will compile it we will come out with something and in case required we will also do policy advocacy at uh, the highest level uh, with this uh, nitya uh, should we end or uh, you want to say anything no we can end, end this now it has been a most uh, excellent uh, webinar with excellent examples right like so great thank, thank you very much thank you thank you all participants for being there and uh, listening to all of us we would definitely look forward to your uh, suggestions feedback as well as uh, some concrete uh, maybe policy level uh, interventions that you expect uh, uh, we as a team to follow with the ministries right thank you very much thanks a lot thank you so much